I guess I love horses with a passion. And when you get on them every day and all of a sudden one day they're not themselves, you think maybe they don't feel well. But by the second or third day and they have no symptoms of any fever or flu, you know it's not necessarily something that's going to pass. You got to make them comfortable. You got to make, if they got a little something going, starting to go wrong with them, you got to get it better. I mean, you got to take care of it. And they call out the veterinarian and if it's not a clear cut problem, they know they're not right, but they can't get resolution. You know, when you get a little something off, it, it, it starts other problems with it. You figure we're putting people on the moon and we can't figure out whether it's a right front leg lameness or a left hip. Nadine's always been very, been a baby, you know? She likes to help horses that need help that nobody else has taken the time to do. I traveled around the world and finally after a number of years I developed with another couple of people the BioFind. And it's just a simple machine that goes around the waist with a comb-like head, and you just run the comb-like sensor over the body. The sensor puts a very low microcurrent of energy into the body, and where the body is in homeostasis and everything's functioning properly, there's no particular activity. If it comes to a point that's bruised and the brain is calling for calcium and things to heal it, there's a lot of activity. That's when the sensor beam changes its speed, and you can hear it and see it on the digital readout. So as you're scanning over the horse, when you come to a high squeal, you take a little watercolor crayon, put a little mark, and continue on. I find quite a bit of inflammation in this area, and uh, I'm finding it localized primarily right in here. If I treat this with a cluster head, it should release the whole muscle. You apply um, infrared and visible red light at different frequencies on those points for just only a minute at a time, and they have been proven through thousands of studies to change cellular responses, everything from dilating blood vessels and lymphatic vessels to um, stimulating the replication of RNA and DNA, which is bottom line intelligence of the cell, and it just speeds up healing remarkably. I can't tell you why it does it, how it does it, but I know it does it and it works. We've had recoveries on muscles that veterinarians said would take, oh, five, six weeks for the horse to be back to normal. I've got one on the ranch right now that's getting ready to come back that broke his sesamoid completely in half, and uh, two of the veterinarians can't believe what it's, how it's healed. I worked on a mare that had a dropped hip and it had been down for a year and a half, and I put those diodes on and patiently waited. On the third day, the hip jerked up. It makes a difference, it, it makes a big difference. It's a great thing, it's been a big help to me. I think one of the greatest joys is getting all the letters and the excitement and people calling and telling us things, miracle stories, that we can't even repeat because people would think that we were making them up. I've had lots of them come back that I've used BioScan on and one. And when you see a little horse come out and you know he's pain free and you've scanned him, there's an excitement between the rider, there's a confidence in the rider, there's a confidence in the horse, and it's just a really exciting thing to watch. They just get down in the dirt and do the impossible and come out with their ears forward just strutting, feeling good. So it really lets you look at a horse the way an acupuncturist, a muscle therapist, and a massage therapist would, but it's so simple, a 10-year-old child can use it. In the beginning, I was surprised every time. Every time a horse got better, I was surprised. And now, if they don't, I scratch my head and say, what did I miss?